Hello, girls. Okay, this is a continuation of yesterday's lesson, the transformer uh, lesson. Uh, yesterday was uh, video one, but today is video two, and it's a very short lesson. I just want to show you the difference between uh, two types of transformer. Okay, yesterday you have learned there are two types of transformer. All right, okay, so I highlight here trans step up transformer and step down transformer. Okay, this was our yesterday's lesson over here. Okay, so now let's look at what is the difference between the step up transformer and a step down transformer. Okay, now first of all, let's look at the diagram. Now for the step up transformer, what is the function? Do you recall your function? Recall the function of a step up transformer. This trans uh, the function of a step up transformer is to increase the voltage of an alternating current. Increase increase the voltage means from a small voltage you convert into a higher voltage. Okay, for the step down transformer, it does the opposite, which is it decreases the voltage. It decreases voltage means it's from a higher voltage, you want to make it smaller. Okay, so you have two types of transformer. Now, how, what is the difference? Okay, let's look at differences, then we will discuss the similarity. Okay, the differences is you will see that um, for the step up transformer, you have the input voltage. Always remember the input voltage is together with the primary coil. So whatever you want to change, okay, whatever uh, voltage that you want to change, the original, the, the source, uh, the source, you must put uh, at, at the primary coil here. So this is the input voltage. For example, I have 10 volts. I want to make it to, let's say, 200 volts. Okay, so your my 10 volt is the input voltage, and then the other side will be your 200 volt. Okay, now look at the number of coils. For the primary coil, it's usually less compared to a secondary coil. So for a step up transformer, the number of coils in the primary coil, okay, see this one? It will be less than the secondary coil. It's easy to remember because less coils, okay, I remember less voltage, right? The lower, uh, of course, uh, when, when the voltage is low, right, you put it at the primary coil, it will have a lower number of coils for the step up. And for secondary coil, it will have more. Okay, so this is one difference. Look at here. The number of turns at the primary coil is less than that in the secondary coil. So that is one difference. Okay, the another difference is look at the voltage. The primary voltage here, here's the primary voltage, what we call the input voltage, will be lower than the secondary voltage or the output voltage so it's a very simple way to remember okay now for let's look at your step down transformer step down transformer is just the opposite you have a uh, let's say 240 volts okay this is the voltage in your the electricity supply that comes to our houses and you want to convert it to 9 volts so that your laptop and your handphone can use Okay, so this is a step down transformer and look at the number of coils. Now for the 240, because it's the source, you want to change this. So you must put it at the primary coil. This is your this is your input already. Input is what you want to change. Okay, input and primary always go together. Alright, okay, so now your 240 is now the input voltage. And for the other side, whatever whatever is converted, what comes out on the other side is your secondary uh, voltage, or uh, what they call the output voltage. The output voltage will be less. Okay, so let's look at the first point. You look at the number of turns. Okay, the first one is the number of turns on the primary coil now will be more. So here on this side will be more. For a step down transformer, it will be more. More than the secondary coil because you want to make from more to less. Okay, that is the first uh, difference the second difference you compare in terms of voltage okay higher which one higher voltage higher voltage will be at the input voltage or we call it primary voltage i rather use word input voltage lah, okay input voltage is higher than output voltage so that's all that's it very simple two ways to compare this is your differences first of all you compare between the voltage input voltage and the output voltage well, which one more which one less the second thing to compare is the number of turns which one uh primary coil more or the primary coil less okay which one more which one less so there are two points this is for differences now for similarities 
When you want to compare, you must compare and contrast. That means you must talk about similarities also. Don't forget, you only talk about the uh, differences that will be, you do not get a full mark. You must also look at the similarities. Now, I want you to look at these two comparisons. What are the parts that are the same? Uh, I just give you a clue on it. Okay? You look at these two parts, these two step up transformer and step down transformer. What are the similarities? You talk about the parts. Okay? Talk about the parts which whether what parts are they have the same okay so that is a clue for you because i'm going to give you a worksheet for you to fill up okay so this is a very short lesson so that's it for today's lesson okay good luck on your worksheet afterwards